Myth number three, fibromyalgia is an autoimmune disorder. Fact, when you have an autoimmune disorder, your immune system mistakenly attacks your healthy cells. There are more than 80 conditions labeled as autoimmune. Fibromyalgia isn't on the list. Here's why. Around the turn of the 20th century, experts were trying to better understand fibromyalgia, then called fibrositis. They placed it in the same category as rheumatoid arthritis and labeled it as autoimmune. Doctors later discovered that about one in four people with fibromyalgia also has an autoimmune disorder, which kept them lumped together. Unlike autoimmune disorders, which involve the immune system attacking the body's own tissues, fibromyalgia does not show evidence of inflammation in the classic sense or tissue damage. The current scientific consensus classifies fibromyalgia as a disorder of pain processing rather than an autoimmune disease. This distinction is important for treatment approaches as therapies typically used for autoimmune disorders are not effective for fibromyalgia. Although fibromyalgia can occur along with an autoimmune disorder, it is not considered to be one. Interestingly, new research has revealed that fibromyalgia involves inflammation of the immune cells in the brain and central nervous system. These tiny immune cells, known as microglia, become overactive, triggering a state of chronic neuroinflammation. Based on this new research, it is possible that one day fibromyalgia may be classified as an entirely new type of autoimmune disorder, but more research is still needed. Researchers continue to study what links the two together, but at this point there remain separate and distinct conditions.